I am genuinely curious what this new plant-based slop tastes like, you know, what they are shoving down the throats of, I guess, a fairly high percentage of the American population. Beyond Meats and Impossible Foods have been all the rave in the media lately. Uh, we're going to go over to Burger King tonight and compare the Impossible Whopper to the regular Whopper. At least I'm pretty sure it's the Impossible Whopper uh, that has more of a ring to it than the Beyond Whopper. And this is kind of contradictory because I have a gigantic refrigerator full of local high quality grass-fed beef, uh, courtesy of Frankie's Free Range Meat. Uh, this is our beautiful local beef package actually. Really amazing stuff, high quality fatty beef. And here I am going to Burger King buying this crap. So it's pretty late at night. Uh, I've had a long day and I figured this was perfect. I've wanted to do a more vlog style video and I have a really bad pimple on my cheek from not sleeping. And I was like, well, if I ate this poison, I would have a bunch of these on my face. And I didn't really want to, uh, to film something and have you guys say something and, and not have and not be able to be more casual about it. Uh, so we're gonna drive over to Burger King. Uh, there's one, I think about 10 minutes from my parents' house and they're open 24 seven. Uh, but I actually called them ahead of time just to make sure. The burger is cooked on the same surface that the other burgers are. I'm sure they thought I was like a vegan or something because I called them up, I was like, hey, and I was really excited, I was like, Hey, do you guys have the new, the fake plant-based burger? And oh, well, before I said that, I was like, oh, are you guys open till what time tonight? And they're like, oh, we're open 24 seven. I was like, oh, well that sucks for you guys. Girl got a little giggle. Uh, and then I was like, oh, you have the, the plant-based burger. And I was, and they were like, yes. And I was like, oh, okay, that's great. Uh, oh, so is it cooked on the same surface as the other meats? And, and then they said, she said, yes. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna go over there, uh, pick some up. Uh, we'll take it home and uh, see how it goes. Probably a little too dark for you guys to see my car, but uh, you know I drive an old Ford Taurus. And, you know I drive in Manhattan, so uh, car gets beat up. I don't really want to buy something nicer. It's actually pretty cold out today. I'm wearing a t-shirt and shorts. It's like 47 degrees and raining outside, but yeah, I guess I'm a little lazy. I'd rather wear this than uh, put on sweats. It is a dark and rainy night for a dark and rainy occasion. I don't know if I've ever been to a Burger King in general. Not really sure. Hi, could I help you? Hey, what's going on? Uh, can I get an Impossible Whopper and a regular Whopper? Uh, just the sandwiches? Uh, no, that's it. Thank you. 1385. Some of you guys might remember we compared Wendy's patties to McDonald's patties last year for uh, the carnivore diet purposes. Uh, but before that, I hadn't been in a fast food restaurant for I think over 10 years. Uh, so this is not a usual occurrence. And as I said, I don't think I've ever been to a Burger King, uh, let alone a lot of other fast food restaurants. I've never tried a Whopper. I mean, I've never tried a Big Mac either, but. $14 is a steep for this shit, man. Yeah, two pounds of grass-fed beef or Frankie's free range meat. I wonder how much of a metric it is, you know, between like different fast food restaurants. If, uh... oh, that was quick. Thank you. See, now, stu stuff like that is what I worry about. If they made the sandwich that fast, how can, you know, they, they, they had the burgers already ready. I ordered an impossible Whopper and a regular Whopper. That just means that the burgers were sitting like in a heating element or something like under a lamp and then they just put it in the bag and gave it to me. <laughs> Cause I, that was literally less than like a minute through the drive through That was ridiculous. All right, maybe two minutes, but there is no way I was in that drive through for longer than two minutes. So does it really matter if this stuff is fresh? I don't really think so with the amount of preservatives and, and shit in it, but I guess we better make sure it's hot when we eat it. I don't know about you guys, but driving when it's this dark outside in the rain, you know, like where the sky is completely black, 
This is difficult, man. I have good night vision, and I can't imagine the average person, you know, trying to drive on this at night. It's like pitch black. You got people with their high beams in the other lane. All this for two poisonous burgers. <laughs> I'm sitting here complaining how, how much I can't see. I'm still driving like 10 over the speed limit in a shit box of a car that has the worst goddamn brakes in the world. So uh, it shows you how much I actually value uh, my advice. Maybe it's just the super high retinol content in a carnivore diet. The amazingly high animal-based vitamin A only found in animal foods that is allowing me to perceive this road unlike any human being before. Uh, that being said, that guy just flew past me in a BMW and I'm sure he's not on a carnivore diet. But, but, I'm sure if I was in a BMW on the carnivore diet, I'd be going even faster than that. Just as I'm pulling down my street, there's this guy walking his dog 10.30 p.m. at night, all black, rainy, cold outside. One reason I don't own a dog, so what are you gonna do? But, we got the goods. And ironically, this is probably, is it worse for you than dog food? No, I think dog food is better for you and it probably tastes better too. Speaking of dogs and dog food, in general, the standard American diet is far worse than dog food or cat food. If you ate dog food, which is mostly meat, the nutrient content is definitely higher than a human diet and it's probably less inflammatory. And I, I think, you know, I'm sure like dog treats and stuff taste good compared to you know, the shit people are just eating. I'm actually really excited about this. I wonder what that says about my life in general. I mean, I work a lot and I'm mostly doing things I don't want to do, but this is definitely the most excited I've been, I, I think in probably months, let alone weeks. Uh, so uh, we got the goods from Burger King. Uh, again, skeptical, $14 out the window, but compared to how much money I've spent in past uh, vegan or carnivore goes vegan videos, which is usually like $75, $100 in vegan food per video, uh, this is pretty cheap in comparison. Uh, so we got some napkins. The Impossible Whopper. Flame grilled to perfection with the same meat that this, uh, or well, the same meat that's in this Whopper. That's kind of funny, isn't it? That you, uh, that you, they, they grill the burgers on the same surface. What are you gonna do? So the Whopper is 100% beef, no fillers, no preservatives, America's favorite burger. The Impossible Whopper is flame grilled to perfection. Why would they compromise America's favorite burger with the Impossible Whopper? Who knows? Now, I've never had an actual Whopper before, so I don't really know if I should try this first or this first, but we'll definitely go back and forth between the two. And I'm a beef guy, so we will have the regular one first. Possible Whopper. So I just ordered uh, just the sandwich. Like, I didn't change it at all, so this is, this is default how it comes. It's, uh, they're warm. I wouldn't say they're hot. The appearance of both is pretty similar. There's like, uh, there's like sweating, a little like, you know, some mustard, some sauce mixed on the, the wrapper. Uh, this one's sweating a bit of water. I don't know why there's water in here or what that is. There's some in here too, I guess. So it looks, uh, I don't know what's on a Whopper. I thought it was layered, but it's just like lettuce, onion, pickles. It looks like some type of sauce. I don't know if there, I think there's cheese on it, but I don't see the cheese. Yeah, did they forget the cheese? No, I think there's cheese somewhere on here. Is there? No, they forgot the cheese. Did I have to say with cheese or does a Whopper not have cheese? Oh well. Well, there's the burger patty. Um, the plant-based burger is noticeably darker charred. Like, like the beef Whopper doesn't have any char marks on it whatsoever. But the plant-based burger is like really dark black chars. So, uh, let's give this a shot. Smells like fast food. Mm. 
This is what the bag's really for. I mean, to me, it just tastes like ketchup and pickles. So I don't really taste a burger here. I just taste pickles, ketchup, maybe a little onion. I see why this, you know, appeals to Americans. Ketchup is sweet. You know, pickles give that umami, sour flavor. Uh, I mean, I don't have a steak, but what are you going to do? So this is... Let me actually see if this on top is cheese or if it's something else. Yeah, I think this is cheese. I don't know, I don't know, guys. It says, it says with cheese, but I don't see like a slice of cheese on it. So this is going to be the Impossible Whopper. I'm just trying to make sure I get everything in one bite, like tomato, pickle. I don't know, man. Definitely a difference. I'm going to go in for that again. Yeah, that was, uh, that wasn't enjoyable. Let me try the patty separately and, and see if I can figure out what that off taste was. So obviously the beef burger, only ingredients in the patty are beef. I mean, it tastes like fast food ground beef. I don't know what they do to give the beef this like specific flavor in these uh in these fast food restaurants. But I've never had like cooked ground beef that tastes like this. Now I'm gonna have a piece of the plant-based burger. They put so much like ketchup and sauce on this plant-based burger that it's like there's no part of the patty without it on it. It smells, I can't tell what this smells like. I'm sure like one of you super smeller people could, but it's not beef. I just can't put my hands on what this tastes like. Does it taste like meat? It tastes like meat trying, or like it tastes like meat that's trying to be a vegetable. Unlike the usual plant-based stuff, which is vegetable trying to be meat. This has like protein isolate that was made in a laboratory. This has canola oil, high omega-6 oils. You know, the amount of chemicals, preservatives, additives, and ingredients to make this plant-based patty taste good is in the dozens. And from a health perspective, this is far more inflammatory. Now, both the Whopper and the Impossible Whopper are without a doubt bad for you. I mean, I don't think I have to say that, but you know, you have this bun. I don't know what the bun ingredients are. I'm assuming it's like refined white flour, which is made from inflammatory modern red winter wheat, has 48 chromosomes, type of wheat with a gluten structure that's not good for you. I'm assuming there's some type of vegetable oil in the bun as well, uh, maybe some preservatives. And even the water that's probably used to make these buns isn't high quality. Uh, then you have like onion, pickles, lettuce, ketchup. Probably not too big of a deal. The vegetables, I mean, yeah, there's no nutrients in vegetables. There might be herbicides and pesticides sprayed on the vegetables and stuff. But those aren't the biggest concern on this. Uh, the bun is definitely very inflammatory. Gluten, you know, carbohydrates, refined, preservatives. Uh, the cheese product, whatever the sauce is on top, uh, we can assume... You know, it's high omega-6, it's inflammatory, it's oxidized. And the beef patty is the healthiest thing here, without a doubt by far. Just beef in it. You know, it's not grass-fed beef, it doesn't have the best nutrient profile, it's not free of negative things like atrazine or agrochemicals. So the beef is still a concern here. Uh, I, I would rank, you know, the bun is the worst culprit. Uh, the vegetables, probably not that big of a deal. Uh, the sauce or the cheese can be a highly processed, low-quality cheese. And then you have the, the beef. So in, in order of worst to best, bun, cheese, accoutrements, beef. This one, though, whereas here the beef is the healthiest thing, I would argue here the plant-based patty is the unhealthiest thing. 
So the plant-based impossible patty is the worst, followed by the bun, and the accoutrements and, and the other stuff on here aren't that big of a deal. I mean, the cheese is worse than the accoutrements, but I guess let's, you know, I paid $14 for these, for these burgers, so I might as well taste them a couple times and see what I think. Hey, I see why, man. I see why. You know, simple carnivore diet, the foods I'm used to eating compared to this, I see why people choke this stuff down all day. You know, I can put some horseradish and some cheese on my cheeseburger and enjoy it just as much. But the bun, the chemicals, the flavor, you know, the stuff people are used to eating in a Whopper, in these fast food restaurants, you know, they've really figured out a formula uh, to get America fat, sick, and unhealthy and have them enjoy doing it. Now that I brushed my teeth three times and got all that crap out of my mouth, uh, I'll give you guys what I think. So I had a couple more bites of the plant-based burger, a couple more bites of the Whopper. From a taste perspective, the plant-based burger just doesn't have as powerful of a flavor. Like the beef doesn't really come through on the regular Whopper, but the regular Whopper tastes better because when you have the beef, when you have that more powerful flavor, it just brings everything else out. There's something in the regular Whopper that tastes better than the Impossible Whopper. You know, despite the higher amount of charring and grill marks on that Impossible uh, burger, I think it has to do with the, the fat content of the beef and that fat that's in the meat giving it more flavor. You know, just going back and forth several times, uh, even with the patty meat itself, you know, you know, the patty meat didn't really have, you know, they had a slightly different flavor, but it didn't really seem like, you know, the plant-based patty tasted that much better or worse than the beef patty from the taste perspective of like a fully cooked, crappy, you know, grain-fed beef burger. But in the sandwich itself, there was a noticeable difference when the flavors came together. But I can see how the public is going to just choke this stuff down like all of the other crap they're eating. Uh, I, I would say maybe the regular Whopper is 10 or 15% better tasting, but that's not much of a margin. You know, people might choke down you know, two or three of these Impossible Burgers and, and not care and think they're doing something better by not having beef, uh, which is absolutely not true. But that can actually happen. That tends to be how things work. And as I was mentioning, you know, how they've engineered these fast foods to activate your flavor receptors. You have your sweet from the ketchup, your umami, your sour from the pickle. You have some creaminess from that sauce on top. I don't even know if there was cheese on this, but you throw cheese on that. That's another element. And they've combined many flavor elements to trick your body into thinking you're getting nutrients because any food that tastes good naturally has nutrients in it. If you take any fruit or vegetable, you know, fruit tastes good because it's sweet, it has calories. You can't jazz up vegetables without modern science and, and cooking methods. But if you take meat or cheese or dairy, natural, one ingredient from an animal, it tastes good on its own. That signifies to your body that it's something that can sustain us. So having these foods taste like this is so unnatural. Our, our bodies are just sucking it down, but there's no nutrients in it, so it's not satiating our appetite. Uh, I mean, that's the state of pretty much every food in America, let alone fast food itself. Even, even a lot of animal products, chicken, pork, and beef, the way we're raising the animals now, it's not conducive to a high nutrient content. Uh, so what I can suggest to you guys is go to Frankie's Free Range Meat, buy some grass-fed beef, buy some raw cheese. Hey, whether it's at Frankie's Free Range Meat or your local supermarket, it's far better than this. Thank you guys for joining me. If you could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and please share the video. It really, really helps me out. If you guys would like to support me further, as I said, check out frankiesfreerangemeat.com. You can also check out Frankie's Naturals, minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. Thanks again for joining me guys and enjoy the rest of your day.